Play Rock <laughs> looks like an idiot. <laughs> a Risky Whiskey episode three. Three, yeah. So this is Risky Whiskey. Should we explain why we're calling it Risky Whiskey? Sure, we d- did not prepare anybody. In no, no, we just kind of launched it. So the whole point is that we're taking a risk <laughs> on bottles that we buy. Hence, Risky Whiskey. Yes. Could be bottles we've never heard of. Could be cheap bottles. Could be expensive bottles. Just it's, it's a risk. It's a risk. I'd say that. It's this $120 one is risk. definitely a risk. What if you do try this and you're like, it's horrible? Are you gonna be honest? If it sucks, I'm gonna be honest. Are you gonna be? Like, I'm gonna be honest. This is awesome. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right. Risky Whiskey episode two. We got a blue three. run today. Episode, episode three. three, bud. <laughs> episode three. We did a two parter last week. Go check it, it out. It was a two parter. Uh, we got a blue run. Whoop, I'm whoop. excited. Uh, my hands were shaking when I found this on the shelf because I tried to get it when it launched and it sold out in like 30 seconds. Yeah, they did. They did an online only sale on these and you could not get one. Yeah. Uh, this one is Marrakech Market, right? Nice. Yeah. Was that like on point? So. I think so. I think it was pretty good. Good pronunci- pronunciation. Yeah, I can't <laughs> pronounce pronunciation. Uh, it's a blend of three barrels at 110 proof. And we're about to try it. Crack her I open. I am so excited for it. If you didn't know, Blade Rock is the biggest Blue Run fanboy. If you can't tell by his uh, turtleneck. Yeah. <laughs> I like Blue Run. Uh. <laughs> uh. Wow, this is this thing goes for a lot on the secondary market too. Yeah, is that it's amazing you found that. Yeah. You shouldn't have that right now. But I'm glad you do. It's a pretty good pop. Ooh, ooh, that's unique smelling. They launched six of these. They're technically a micro batch, which means that they only did I think all of them were under a thousand bottles. So wanna, somebody want to read it? What? You're the best reader. I feel like it's Blayrock's turn. Yeah, oh, I think it is gosh. your turn because you read, uh, or you ha- made us read. Make like a straw. All right. Bent, uh, Marrakech Market proof one ten point three barrels blended, a total of three six bottle cases available. So what is the, at one hundred and six at six bottles? That's. 636. I yeah. didn't really listen. Yeah. 636. I wasn't really listening either. So 636 bottles of this. On the nose, Marrakech Market opens with cloves, butterscotch, and rich maple syrup. Butterscotch for sure. Moving to dark cherry and nutty grains and ending in light wood. The flavor enters as bright with honey and light floral notes, followed by a creme brulee meeting toasted oak then rounds out with a melody of black pepper peanuts blackberries the finish is a buttery is buttery with a dash of light pepper and a hint of cara i don't even know how to pronounce oh, cardamom. it cardamom you ever heard of that it is a british uh fruit and or vegetable i believe <laughs> I do not know what it is. I thought it was a spice, so... Oh, it might be. They idiots. use it on British Bacon Show. All right, now let me get oh. this nose here. Not it's... Spice. Ooh. What's it smell like to you? Caramel. Yeah. Straight caramel. Also, like... butterscotch, though. The butterscotch, butterscotch is Butterscotch is yeah, strong yeah, with yeah, this yeah. one. And, like, oh my melting goodness. butter. I think it smells like some kind of dessert I'm too poor to have ever tasted. Like, I don't know what flan is, but I feel like it would smell like this. <laughs> Maybe creme brulee. Perhaps. Oh, well, should we go All in right. for it? All right, let's go. It's fucking good. Hot damn. <laughs> wow. That is very good. Oh, do you all get that nuttiness? Yes. Hey. Oh. It's like butterscotch and nutty. I get um. What are those white like macadamia nut? Yep. What? I know what it, I know what it is. What is it? It's you ever been to uh, Rafferty's? 
No. And you get the rolls that have the butter and the nuts and stuff on them. Oh, I know what you're talking about, but I've never. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt what you were saying. No, go ahead. That's what what it smells like. Yes, and tastes like. Or tastes like. That is. (laughs) That's some good stuff. This is the best blue run I've tried. For sure. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. I might need to compare it to the cask strength because I like that one, but. No, this Damn, is better than the cat strength. Cat strength. Cat cat <laughs> cast strength. This is better than the golden rye. I don't know if I like it better than the golden rye. It's so buttery. But man, it is. it's <laughs> so good. It tastes like butter and like not it's not peanut though. It's like a pecan. Like a yeah, like yeah. a pecan. This is so and much caramel. better than most things I've tried. You know? That's that's awesome. What really sucks is we know that there's only going to be like 600 bottles ever made. So it tastes like they melted butter into the, into a barrel. You think Orville Redenbacher like, collaborated on this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Some popcorn in there. Oh man, that's good. God bless. That's good. I do get the toasted oak too. A l- very little, but like a little bit of like just charred popsicle stick. I can't get past the daggone buttered dessert popcorn <laughs> stuff. It's so fucking good. It is. If you can get this on the black market of bourbon, do it. All right, so what would you rate it? I want to hear his first. I, I got mine. Why do I have to go first? Because this is your baby. Knowing that I gave the golden rye a 9.5... You did? I did. Wow. Uh, I'm going to as well give this thing a 9.5. Yep. High praise. I'm proud of you. It's expensive, though, but I still think it's that is really good. <laughs> but, I mean, that's 120 bucks. That's worth it. That's, that's good. And, you know, all my line of thinking is, is we gave Kentucky Spirit a 9. And I like this better than Kentucky Spirit. I can see how you would. I, I love it. I like it a lot, but it's like its own category because I've never tasted so much nuttiness and butterscotch and caramel without being like just blatantly sweet. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it falls in its own category, but it's for me, it's missing what I like and like the I don't really taste much woodiness in it. I get a very little, but I get what you're saying. Maybe in the like, uh, maybe in the finish a little bit, but it's more like buttery, like burnt butter to me. But um, I think I think I'm gonna do eight point eight. It's a fair score. This is very fair score. I gave it a nine. This is delicious. It's this is good. It is so good, and so it's it's a different kind of sweet. You're right. It is. It's not like double oak, like where it's just like. It tastes like syrup. This is like, almost like a Werther. Like, you know, that like caramely sweet. Yeah. Uh, but not like just straight sugar. Yeah. If that makes sense. I actually sense. like that a lot about it, is it's not like, I just came from that re- redemption and that was like sugar, sugar yeah, bourbon. Yeah, it's, it's very sugary. And this is, it tastes like natural sugars. Mm-hmm. We should save it and, and, and drink on it again. <laughs> For you sure. won't get another one. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just do a whole thing. episode and kill the bottle if you want. <laughs> He's. A- <laughs> I don't know about all that. But yeah, I'm I'm super excited to have this in my collection. I really thought I was going to be opening that emerald before I open this, but I wanted to save the emerald for next week. Now is that the same cork as all the other ones? Mm-hmm. Is the exact it? same cork. The other ones aren't just like painted black. No, no, they're all oh. Okay. Yeah, grab that. Oh. That is a different cork. This one is like smooth, and this one's got like almost like grooves on it. What did you give it? I gave her a nine. Nine. So a nope. nine, a 9.5, and an 8.8. What's that going to average out to, Mr. Calculator Man? 9.1. 9.1. That good. is a very fair score. That's a good score. It's reminiscent of Russell Tenier, I think. Just the smoothness so. and nuttiness. I think I, yeah. yeah. I would agree I mean, with it's, that. It's better. 
for sure it's better than rust tenure but it's kind of the same profile i hate to say it but yeah i think i agree with that yeah, yeah I mean, Russell tenure is my baby and Thank you, Mike Campbell. Uh, i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'm pretty sure that this is so first off this came out of castle and key this that's where they blended them okay uh, and it's all their bourbons. It's all Castle and Keys bourbons. No, it's all Blue Runs bourbons. Right, right. So they've been around. They've been, they've had bo- barrels stored for the past five years. These guys are going to make a lot of money. I hope they don't keep everything low count, though, because more people need to try that. Yeah, they. Uh, I'm hoping that once they build their distillery and they get, you know, you know, four, five, six down years down the road. They come out with something that's like a thirty dollar bottle or a forty dollar bottle, yeah. and just yeah. have some generic, you know, well, butterfly even, on it. And, I don't even mind if it stays a hundred, hundred twenty. That's fine. But I'd I'm like to be able to buy it every now and then. Yeah. yeah. They should do a Mountain Dew voting thing. Where, uh, at least on the flight series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have people vote on which one they should. The make. problem is probably not everybody has cross checked them. Right, See yeah. Which all, one they like the best? So. All five people that tried all of them. The yeah. the other thing is is I think that the reason they made this was because they didn't have a whole lot of barrels when they first started out, and then they just decided to blend these together, and it was just they don't have a whole lot of those barrels left. You say that's one hundred ten proof? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't taste one hundred ten proof. No, it it tastes ninety ninety five. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I've seen 90s that are way hotter than this. If you take a big gulp of it, you get the proof a little bit, but <laughs> it's only time. Mm. I get the proof on the top of my mouth and then all the butter and sweetness on the tongue. Yeah. Good job, Blue Run. 9.1. Killed it. 9.1. All right. All right. That's I think a that's a wrap for episode one. three of Risky Whiskey. Whoop, whoop.